Today we're gonna talk about how to take risks and not be scared to meet new people. I'm not gonna edit this video because I want you to see the behind the scenes. Before I make a video, I listen to music so I can get my vibe right, you know? Get my vibe right. The reason I do that is because I want you to feel the way I feel when you watch the video. I feel good right now. I feel good. I just got off Instagram Live with my followers, with my fans, people who really, really support my work. This is the first video idea they gave me. And so I took notes. I took notes on everything that they wanted me to go over and wanted me to talk about because it's important to me that people get value out of what I'm doing. So instead of just making videos that I felt were gonna get me views, I feel it's more important to make what the people want. As an artist, as an entertainer, as a musician, you become successful by giving people what they want, yes. By creating from your heart, yes. By understanding trending topics of what's important to the mass amount of people, yes. But don't forget to ask people, what do you need? How can I make your life better? Because of that, I want to make this video. How to take risks and how not to be scared to meet new people. The first thing I wrote down is that fear is normal. I put that as number one because it was the first idea that came to my head. A lot of people have fear, right? They fear meeting people. They fear making new friends. They fear liking someone and that person rejecting them. Those fears are normal, right? So we have to understand that those are normal fears. Having a fear of something is normal. I know some people try to preach as if you can eliminate all your fears and get rid of your fear. Fear is, uh, what is it? Uh, what the, what's that phrase they use? Uh, fear is false evidence appearing real. That sounds great for an Instagram quote. That is not real life. That is not practical. That is not going to inspire someone to create, to put themselves out there, to do what they need to do. So I'm gonna tell you real life. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be raw with you. I'm going to be transparent with you because when you see my face, when you see my name, I want you to understand that I'm going to give it to you raw. I'm not here to appease you. I don't want to give you poetry that just makes you feel good. I want to give you things that help your life. I want your life I want your life to be better than it was yesterday. I want you to be happy. I want you to get the girl to get the guy you want. I want you to get the job you want. This means a lot to me. When I struggled in life, I did not have a lot of people there for me all the time. But the people who were there for me, they gave me value and never looked for anything in return. That is what I'm trying to do with this video right now. How do you put yourself out there? You put yourself out there by doing stuff like this. This is a raw video. I'm not editing, editing the video because I don't want it to look professional. I don't want it to look like I'm presenting my absolute best because I'm not. I don't know if you can see my pants. I'm wearing sweatpants with no socks. I was getting my hair done yesterday um, and you can see I have the two strand twist, but up top, it's not done yet. This is just raw. And I want you to understand that people will accept you in your raw element. You have fear because you fear how they are going to judge you, how they are going to look at you, what they may say about you. Someone may see this video and say, oh, look at this pineapple head, chocolate milk duh looking head boy. And that's hilarious to me. It's funny. But the thing is, I can laugh at myself. I trust myself. I know myself. I know my strengths. I know my weaknesses. I'm okay with people teasing me. I'm okay with people making fun of me because 
teasing and someone making fun of you are such low vibrational frequencies that they, they don't impact me in a negative way. In fact, if you make fun of me, I'm going to laugh with you. My last name is McNutt the Third. That's hilarious to me. That's hilarious. I grew up, kids used to make so, <laughs> kids used to make so many jokes. They used to make fun of me. And it taught me not to care because it's irrelevant. It, those kids showed me that the real world is, that's just how it is. We, we often make fun of things that we connect to or that we relate with. Or we make fun of things that we don't understand, that we're confused by. And either one of those are perfectly okay with me. So my challenge to you is, you're probably scared to put yourself out there because you're trying to present this perfect person so you can be accepted based on what you think other people want to see and you don't have to do that you can put yourself out there with your flaws as raw as you are with your strengths and your weaknesses and people will accept you as you are people will be friends with you as you are people will date you as you are but you can't do that by masking it you can't present a uh, fictitious character over here and then be this person over there it does not work that way you have to present yourself as this kind of person. Hey, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm bad at. This is what I'm working on. I need help here, okay? And and I'm humble. I can humbly admit that I'm not the greatest person. I'm just a human being. Once you present who you truly are to people, then it's going to match over here. Then they can accept you. Because the worst thing you can do for yourself is present this perfect person, this idealized I probably didn't say that right. This ideal of who you want to be and then people meet you and talk to you and interact with you and you're way over here somewhere. It doesn't match. Step number one, understand that the fear is normal. Appreciate yourself as you are and, and put yourself, be willing to have the mindset that it's okay for me to put myself out there raw without being edited. Now, the rest of my videos I might edit, but this one is not going to be edited. Number two, okay, this is great. Don't think about the risk. Now, whenever someone tells you don't think about something, that's not realistic advice. Here's what they should be saying. Don't think excessively about it. That's what I want you to do. I don't want you to think excessively about the risk because here's what happens. When you think excessively about a risk, I'm gonna go talk to that girl. Well, what if she doesn't like me? What if she doesn't like my pineapple hair? What if she doesn't like this denim shirt? Now you're creating anxiety. You're creating these alternate loopholes of realities of things that may happen. Don't do that. What you want to do is stay in the moment. If you see a girl that you want to talk to and you see her over there, what you want to do is just make the command, Sylvester, go talk to her. That's it. Don't process the reactions that she may have stay in the moment and allow her to give you the reaction so then you can process it that might be your wife you might talk yourself out of meeting your wife if you think of she might not like me she might say damn bro what's going on with your hair do you need me to do your hair i know how to do it you just found your wife because you are willing to put yourself out there as you are. <laughs> Number three. Put yourself out there. Putting yourself out there is about not being uh, scared of rejection, really. The people who have a fear of, of rejection have very low turnover when it comes to creating results, whether that's in sales, in business, in dating, and in, in sports. Rejection is a perfectly normal part of being a human. And so you have this fear of rejection because you think that the rejection is going to personally tell you that you are not valuable, that you are not worthy of them, that you are not worthy of their time, that you are not a good person in their perspective. And you don't have to think that. You don't have to. You can simply tell yourself that if I go over and talk to that girl and she says, hey, I'm not into you, you have pineapple hair, or whatever she wants to say, she's allowed to reject the situation. And I don't have to take it personally. 
I don't have to take it personal. I can walk away knowing that there is more opportunity out there for me. Number four, the fourth way to meet more people, to meet new friends, to meet new lovers, is to be omnipresent, right? Put yourself out there more. So, so what does that look like? If I wanted to find a girlfriend right now, I'll tell you exactly what I would do. And I think that this can apply for men and women. Right now, I'm sitting in my, in my living room by myself. But if I wanted to make new friends, I wanted to meet new girls, here's a few things I would do. One, I would, make a, I would get a gym membership. The reason I'm going to get a gym membership is because I know people go there. I know people are social when they are there. So I'm going to get a gym membership. And I'm not going to be fearful of how I may be judged because I understand that everybody in the gym is working to obtain a new level of health. So I'm not going to allow myself to be judged if my physical appearance does not match what I perceive someone may feel is beautiful or attractive. I'm going to go to the gym simply because I know other people are there. And when I go to the gym, I'm going to find activities I like. For me personally, I like playing basketball. So I'm going to go play basketball. And I'm going to make guy friends off the basketball court. It naturally happens at every single court. Go to yoga class. Go to spin class. Go to weightlifting. Go to whatever it is that you are truly interested in. And what's going to naturally happen is you're going to meet, you are going to meet people who are naturally interested in what you're interested in. And those are the best type, types of friendships because now you guys share a bond, right? Don't go in yoga class looking for a girlfriend. Don't do that. Go to yoga because you genu genuinely like it. And what's going to happen is over time, you will meet people who are interested in it, right? And then the possibilities are endless. The second thing I would do is I, I would limit my time on my cell phone. If I'm in a position where I want to meet people, I want to get out in the world, I want to maybe meet a girl or make new guy friends or even female friends, doesn't matter, same thing to me. I have to get off my phone less, right? We spend too much time doing this, right? Look, look at this. You see how that looks? I'm literally focused on what's happening right here. I, I, I'm creating tunnel vision here, and then I'm not seeing all of this. So you get your notifications, right? And then yeah, I don't know how to clear them. Well. These are my notifications, right? You think I have time to sit through this all day? No, I don't have time. I don't have time to sit through that, right? Check the notifications, boom. Move on and come back to the real world. Spend less time on the cell phone. And I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna give you the third thing that I would do right now. Um, I would definitely go to the gym. I would spend less time on my cell phones. Oh, this is perfect. You already have a network, no matter what you think. You already know people now, right? Maybe you work with them. Uh, maybe you have some Instagram or Facebook, Twitter followers. Uh, you know, maybe you're on LinkedIn. You already have some type of network. It's 2016, I know you do. You, maybe you're watching this in 2017, since this is December. Learn how to leverage the network you have. You wanna get invited places. If you know somebody in your neighborhood, invite them out. Even if you're not friends, just say, hey, man, I'm going to happy hour at this Chinese food place. Um, come on out. Let's let's let's, you know, let's bump heads for a little bit. Let's uh, let's 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 pick each other's brains. Even if you barely know this person, invite them out to a safe place outside of your house, you know. You do this consistently over and over and over. And what happens is people start inviting you places. If you never invite someone anywhere, how could you expect to be invited somewhere? The more you get invited, the more opportunity you have to meet new people. So it's about putting yourself out there, putting yourself in situations where you will be able to meet new people. Really hope you like this video. Um, I'm about to make some more videos with the same type of <laughs> hair. And it is what it is. I hope it helped. The other videos probably will be edited because they will be much shorter, much more concise, but it's all good, man. I hope I helped your life today.